How's it going everyone? In this video, we're going to be making our very own Google Home. How we're going to do this with two things, a Raspberry Pi and this Google AIY do-it-yourself kit to use Google's own open APIs with their assistant to make a Google Home almost. So what I have right here is the kit version one. I picked this up at Micro Center for like $10 or so. It was like really cheap. I mean, it's like $5. It was a great deal. I had to get this, but this is the previous version. And this version is a little bit bigger, not as good, and it needs a Raspberry Pi 3. The newer version, which is more expensive, is a little bit better and uses a Raspberry Pi Zero. So if you are going to make this kit, keep in mind that you may be getting the newer one where I have the older one. But either way, we can do very similar things. So let's go ahead and make our own Google Home. Making this kit is pretty simple and easy. Other than the Raspberry Pi, everything comes in the box. We get all of our electronics, our wires, our buttons, and even the cardboard box, which is already pre-cut and everything. It's super simple and easy to do. You just follow the instructions. It even comes with a book if you want to see other things that you can do with this kit once it's done. But in that book will be the instructions on assembling everything. It's very simple and straightforward. You just kind of plug in the board on top of your other board connect a couple of cables and wires, and fold the box. That's pretty much it. It's straightforward, simple. You just plug it in, there's no soldering. From there, we download the operating system from Google's website. We will use Etcher to burn that onto an SD card. That is gonna contain Raspbian, but it also has some of the other software that we need to run Google's Assistant API. From there, we plug the micro SD card into the Raspberry Pi, turn it on, and that is it. There's a couple of other steps we will need to walk through, like getting our key from Google. We need to sign up as a Google developer and get our API key in order to run Google Assistant. We will need to make an authentication page, all that stuff. It's very simple, and you can check the manual on how to do that. But once we do authenticate that and log in with our Google account and connect this assistant to our Google account, you can run the program and it executes how you would expect. You are going to be running this through the terminal. So if you're not familiar with the terminal, you may wanna look up some of the things that you have to do. It explains it pretty well on their guide. So if you don't know what you're doing, not a big deal, but it does help to know some of the basic commands. You can use the link on the desktop to open up to the relatively close to where you wanna be directory. You will need to CD into the source examples and then voice to activate your to run your Python program, which comes pre-installed on the operating system. There's a couple of different examples that you can run. I wanted to use the wake word, so you just say, hey Google, and it will wake it up. For me, unfortunately, there's a seg fault. Every time I tried to do that, it crashed. So I haven't looked into that yet, but Google, you got an issue there. But then I did run the, the button one. You just press and hold the button and say what you want. I ran that one, it worked fine. And it's actually really cool looking into what the API is doing as you are saying something. So for example, if I hold down the button and I say, what's the weather in Seattle? I let go. It's going to think, and it's going to give me that answer. From our terminal window, we can see live transcribing what we're saying, and it's even making a guess as to what I'm trying to say. So when I say, what's the weather? And I started saying an S, it thought maybe I was going to say San, but instead I said Seattle. So it recorrected itself and it changed out to Seattle. That was very cool that you can see what it's doing. And then of course, you could also see the output right there and also speaks it to you as well. This kit is really meant for developers who want to try out a couple of things using this Google Assistant. Sure, you can make your own Google Home, but for around 60 to $70 or so for all of this, it's not cheap and it's not cheaper than buying a Google Home Mini if you want to do it that way either. It comes with pre-made programs, and if you're a developer, you can go in and change stuff on your own. I haven't looked into fixing Google's crash that they have on the voice activated one, but I can look into that and I can fix it because this is all open to me and I can edit all of this through Python. And if you're a developer, they have a developer tools section where you can build your own Google Assistant program and it can do what you want it to do. You can build this for whatever you want, and this is just a convenient little box for you to run it. It still does run Raspbian, so it has everything you need, like the web browser. And it's just a normal operating system, but it does have a couple of additional features installed in order to run Google Assistant on this. 
even if you're not a developer, this is still a cool project and you can make your own Google Assistant. You can run this headless, just plug it into power. And once you do get the terminal running, you just unplug your display and your keyboard and mouse and you can just have it running with power and it works like a normal Google Assistant. It's pretty neat. Some of the stuff you can do with it and it was a fun project. So links are down below if you want to pick up this stuff to make your own Google Assistant. It's pretty fun. I recommend it. If you like this video, leave a like and hit that subscribe button for more videos like this. This is Mark and I will see you in the next one.